Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. I'm here again with Wolfman just because I'm really curious about the outdoors and I never ever ate anything off the ground when I've been camping or going through the wilderness but you just told me about uh, this type of a plant, which you can pretty much eat all day long, I guess? Or? Absolutely. I wouldn't overindulge yourself, otherwise it may cause some digestive upset. Okay. Um, but yes, absolutely, when you're in an environment like this, now we're in what's called the wetland environment. Wetlands are like nature's sponges, so what happens, uh, all the stuff that comes to the air and comes under the, into the ground ends up in the wetland. They filter it out, um, and then they create uh, some great clean air and water for us. Very, very important. So when you look along the forest edge here, there's all sorts of different plants. Uh, the most key and most important thing to do is to be able to identify it. You never want to put anything in your mouth that you can't identify. Uh, and if you're in a situation where unfortunately you have to, the best thing to do is to try a little tiny bit and obviously if it tastes like burning, don't eat it. Right? Okay. So what I want to show you today is called the trout lily. Now the trout lily is one of those strange plants that uh, it goes against what you would normally think. Most people are taught from being little, if it's red, don't eat it, right? With the exception of maybe apples or, or fruit Cherries, that you can readily yeah. identify, right? Um, but with trout lily, actually, here's one right here. And this is a little tiny leaf and it looks like a little trout. And, uh, oh, you that's can why see they it call has, it trout lily. That's right, because it has nice. like the little splotches of red on it. And uh, if you can uh, positively identify this as a trout, uh, trout lily, what I do is I wipe it off. Make sure you're obviously in an area not frequented by dogs. By dogs. And uh, and then yeah, it was, is, as you're long first. as it doesn't have any impurities in it or anything that looks like you know like if you were to look at any fruit or vegetable, if it looks okay and you don't see any signs of spray or anything like that on it, okay. then uh, then this one is pretty much safe to eat. So. You can go ahead and eat that. Now, I would recommend trying to find the smallest leaf possible because the larger leaves don't have the same. So here's a nice one right there. Oh, thanks. Just I was gonna gonna hope you'd pick one out for me. So this is the one I'm picking. And I'm going to wipe it off. I just wipe it off. You don't have to, but, you know, there'll be all kinds of whatever sure. uh, stuff on there you don't so, want to eat. So this is the first time I am eating trout lily. Let's see what it tastes like. You said it tastes like apples, right? A little bit like apples. The same consistency as apples. A consistency, consistency of apples. Consistency. So what do you think? It's definitely different. Definitely has the almost an uh, apple peel mm -hmm. kind of flavor. It's definitely unique. I've never ever ever tasted that before. Let's see if I can find another one. So yeah, is so that one's some, good? Yeah, some smaller ones. So this is one I'm pointing to right there. Let's see if I can. And you pulled it, you didn't pull it right out of the ground, right? No, absolutely not. Now, you can eat the bulbs for these if you want to boil them and you can eat them, uh, but then that kills the plant, obviously. So right? that's good right there? That's right. Yeah, that's good. And you said don't pull it just because you're harming the plant Like if you, were to t if you wanted to take the bulb out of these plants and eat them, uh, you're going to kill the plant, right? right. Um, so well, I just, so take just by the pulling the leaf, then they grow again? Yeah, then, then it'll grow again. It's, leaves are like a fingernail or something to a plant for the most part. Uh, you won't hurt them. And, and trout lilies, where are they found? Like in North America, all over? Or? They're found pretty much all over a North American type environment. Uh, anywhere where um, uh, you're going to have any kind of wetland is where you'll find trout lilies. Okay. So you won't find them in the desert. Right. You won't find them in rocky mountainous areas, but you will find them in wetland uh, like this, where Wetlands, the ground is got it. pretty much wet most of the time. Now okay. they are pre-canopy, so as soon as the forest grows over, because we're in late spring right now when this was filmed, uh, it, what'll happen is the, the light gets starved and then you won't have any more. So there's a small window usually from around April to uh, April to early June, and then you're done. There's no more trout lilies for the year. Very cool. Thank you very much. No problem. I've always wanted to try to eat something from the from the ground in the forest, and now I have. And uh, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, and go check out uh, Wolf's uh, channel. He's got some awesome stuff uh, for outdoor wilderness. All right. Thank you.